Okay, going back again with the uh, gray gamer. That's what I'll call it. It's got a handle on it, so it must be a gamer case. Okay, so uh, it's only 7.3. Well, actually, you know what? It's a 7.33 megahertz by as built, but and I still don't even know if it's an AMD or Intel. But I was in the BIOS, and you could uh, you could clock it up as high as one gigahertz. So I did it just to see what it would do, and it's still running. Been sitting there for about 30, 40 minutes while I was cleaning out that other one. But uh, it got to a point. It went through everything. It was trying. It was trying to run. Uh, it's not F disk. It's F S C K. That in Linux, it's F F S C K. F disk is F disk is for window. Wind blows. Where'd it go? I'm trying to show it, and I can't tell where it is. It's telling you what to do. That's why I want to show it. Run FSCK manually. See, it says uh, the door 12, I686. Yeah, okay, and I think maybe this might be an AMD, and I put didn't put the... Back then, you had to have a, a separate AMD version. Unexpected inconsistency. So it used to run, though. Run FSCK manually. I'm not going to do that now. And then, i.e. without A or P switches. P for pause A, I'm not sure. Auto, I think. Auto fix, that's what I would want. Um, error occurred during the file system check. That's how I know that. Dropping into the shell. Uh, the system will reboot, then you will leave the shell. Warning, SE Linux is active. Security Linux disabling security enforcement for system recovery. Run set and force one to re-enable. Oh, okay. Give root password for maintenance. Well, I don't remember what that is. Or type control D to continue. So let's see, where's the D? Okay, control D. There we go. Automatic reboot in progress. I think it's just gonna reboot and try again. I can't remember really. It's not set to automatically boot into any operating system. Yes, it's got a kind of neat BIOS that gets you big, big uh, graphic num, you know information there 733 megahertz pentium 3 it's only a pm3 though i found a 250 gigabyte mega uh 250 gigabyte hard drive in this other machine that's a pentium 3 i believe it's a pentium 3 that's what i thought it said on the front yeah that's what i was trying to run for door 12 but yeah it stops there and waits for you to pick uh xp just errors out i don't know if i'd ever fool with that or not but i couldn't see the hard drive that's making the noise i couldn't see what it is the other one one making the noise is the one with the door. I can tell because it's the one making the noise and doing the FSCK check. The other one with XP is 40 gigabyte, and I can't see without taking it out. I tried. Sometimes you can, you know, shine your magnifying glass and the light up in there and see them, but I couldn't see it. And I don't want to take it out now. I just need to quit playing. I was about ready to plug up that other PM3, and then it started almost sprinkling, so I brought everything in, sprinkling just a tiny bit, and it could rain today. So, that's what they say. <coughs> so, I'm going to put the covers on this, go in, and take my vacuum, take my big old shop back there in the house, and uh, first I've got to see if it's blowing dust. If it is, I may not use it, but uh, I'll try to go in there and vacuum up around my desk. If you've seen any of these previous videos on last few days on this uh, messing with my routers and everything, it really needs it. Oh yeah, and the switch. Okay, that switch don't work. Because all that is, it's not a light. It's not on. It's just, maybe it used to be a light at one point. Yeah, I bet there used to be lights. I bet there's bad LEDs in this thing or something. What it is, is up here on top. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to power it off like that. I did set it to go four seconds. It was on instant off. Yeah, will bump that and accidentally turn them off every time. So, I always set them on four seconds. Also, that gives them time. If, if you're in the operating system, sometimes it will actually start shutting down normally and you can just let off that button and let it shut down like it should all right but if you hit instant instant off then it just kills power to it and that can actually interrupt right more likely to interrupt rights you know disk rights and stuff and cause you trouble so anyway i'm gonna put the sides on it and get back to my other business <laughs> 